Ready to drink cocktails have been more in demand these past couple years. Many different companies are doing them in many different flavors. Today we found one that's in a bag, but is it any good? We were in Milwaukee this past weekend. Yes, side note, if you have any type of seasonal allergies, avoid <laughs> Wisconsin. <laughs> Like you do on any vacation, you go to the closest total wine. So we just want to check out the different selections. Riley stumbled upon these cocktails in a bag. Yes. What are they about? Um, these are called the Perfect Cocktail. Okay. Um, it's an Italian company. I guess they worked for five years to create the perfect product. The perfect cocktail in a bag. Yes. They have a lot of varieties, but the only but the only ones available to us in the United States are the Negroni, the Manhattan, and the Old Fashioned. And then in America, these are sold specifically at Total Wine. They so, can't be found anywhere else. And I think they range from four to almost six bucks. Yeah, I mean, per, reasonably per priced. The idea is great. In a bag, it's easier to ship. It's not gonna break. A lot lighter to ship too. Mm -hmm. Like you're not gonna have to pay as much for shipping, right. which is pretty genius. Right, and plus you're not dealing with aluminum, which is a huge pain in the ass to get for companies right now. Right. So basically all they say on the back is shake, open, pour, drink. In beer, if you're going on a camping trip or something like that, this would be great. Yes. We're gonna start with the Negroni because that just happens to be right here. Serve chilled in an old fashioned glass and garnished with half an orange slice. Fortunately for us, they are already chilled because they were in our car and it is not spring here yet. And they recommend cutting them open, but that requires too many tools. So that's about your normal size drink, a uh, hundred mil. So yeah, that sounds about right for just a normal size Negroni. Yep, stir, stir, stir. A little express, express your sale. All right, let's see how Negroni in a bag tastes. Interesting. Hmm. I like that. You like it because it's not as bitter as a normal Negroni. Correct. <laughs> so that's my first takeaway is that it is not as bitter. It's definitely on the sweeter side. Yes. It's it, not bad. It doesn't pack much of a punch for any of the flavors that you would expect out of a Negroni. Right, exactly. But again, that's why I like it. For five bucks, let's say that's what this costs. Like I said, they're between four and six. It's actually not that bad. Right, you, you were just off put by the Lack of bitterness. Right. If someone who's never had a Negroni, this would be probably a good one for them to try. For but the then they'd time. be pissed if they got a real one. Right, but if you set expectations. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I would drink, I would drink several of those. So, Negroni, worth thumbs it. Up. I would give it one thumbs up, not two. Not two. So now we're gonna do the old fashioned. Alcohol 28%, again, another 100 mil, made with bourbon whiskey, Angostura bitters, and caramel coloring. You gotta shake it up, and this one is supposed to be garnished with an orange twist, orange twist, maraschino flavored a plus. How do you flavor an orange twist? I don't know. I wanna know what bourbon they used. I, I know, that'd be interesting. Do they distill their own spirits, maybe? No, maybe. I've seen like a lot of work. Color is a little lighter than a normal old fashioned. Yep. But smells bittery. Smells like bitters? Well, there's some bitter notes in there. Let oh. me rephrase. It's not a bitter forward, but. <laughs> it's disappointing. A little bit. I mean, I guess if you're in a pinch and you just want something to go, you're camping, I guess it's fine. Yeah. I mean, you do get bourbon notes, you do get bitters, but it seems watered down almost. And there's this big, I don't know if it's kind of like a placebo effect where I know there's caramel coloring, which I know doesn't add flavor, but there's a lot of caramel taste in this, in my opinion. Or like a lot of vanilla, just doesn't seem normal in an old fashioned. Again, I just think like a lot of it is that the flavors are muted. Right. I just agree. like the Negroni, it's it's not as sharp or as strong as you would hope it would be. Yeah, it's fine. This one, I give, would pass on it. I give it a sideways thumb. Like it's not bad, it's not great, but like. Right, I would pass on it just for because I'm not a huge fan of an old fashioned. Last one, Manhattan, 25.5, 100 mil, shake, open, pour, drink, and a maraschino flavor to plus. Oh, they're saying cherry. 
they want them to be a maraschino flavor, not like different flavors of cherries, I guess. I don't fucking know. Right, but like if this one says an orange twist maraschino flavor plus. Oh, that's gotta be a screw up on the packaging. Yeah. It's gotta totally be 100%. No, see that I understand. So this is made with whiskey bourbon, red vermouth, Angostura bitters, and water. Contains sulfites and caramel coloring. Same, or similar coloring, a little bit darker than that. A little the... bit darker. Just because I'm going to assume because of the red vermouth. Right. All right. Let's see. <laughs> that one's vermouth forward. That one's very vermouth forward. I actually think this one is my favorite of the three. Okay. But not because it tastes the most like what it's supposed to taste like. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. I just, I feel like I like the balance of this one. It's, the vermouth is forward, it, it's, the vermouth is very cokey esque Right. The same flavors are there. There's a little bit kind of like a, that sweeter tone right. and notes to it. Right, the, uh, the whiskey is almost non-existent from what I can taste. Granted, my nose is still messed up. <laughs> I would say this one tastes, out of the Old Fashioned Manhattan, this one tastes more like the actual cocktail it's supposed to represent than the Old Fashioned. Does it? See, I don't taste any whiskey at all. So I feel like the Negroni tastes the most similar to what it's supposed to taste like because I could actually taste. No, I know. I just meant between these two. Oh, between okay. the two bourbon ones, right. or whiskey ones, this is the one that tastes the most. I think Negroni is by far the most true to the drink it's supposed to represent. Yes, I would be curious to get my hands on the rest of the the collection, just to see what. So any of our European pals, friends, if you'd like to send us some, Send us an email, we'll hook you up. The Mai Tai is the one I'm curious about. Because how do you, how, it's like, these are pretty easy because there's no citrus. It's when you yeah. add citrus to these ready to make drinks mm -hmm. that just totally. It makes me wonder if they're not using sort of like a citric acid instead of fresh juice. In those ones? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's gotta be what they have to do to be shelf stable. I would say, are these worth it? I would say, Yes, but don't have like super high expectations like you're having like one of the most amazing cocktails out there. Right. You're buying these because A, you're going on a camping trip, boating trip, you're going on some sort of trip that right. you don't want to bring glass. You're buying them because they're portable. Portable and, and they're not breakable. For what you're for what you're paying for them, I mean a Negroni in a bar is gonna cost you more than six bucks. Absolutely. So I mean if you limit your expectations simply on cost, then you're gonna you're getting a good deal either way. Manhattan in a bar is gonna cost you even here in Iowa ten to thirteen dollars. Yep. yep. So for six bucks at max, still a great deal. Yeah, you know, I mean are you buying a hundred of these so you can get drunk? No, you're buying like maybe just a handful, ten of them. I don't know. I mean, that that is a good question. Can you get drunk off of these? What's the ABV on them? Twenty-five. Each one's about twenty-five yeah, percent. So, so you have to drink a couple. A couple of them. I think it's worth it. If you're in yeah. Europe, let us know if you've tried any of these before. Or the other ones. Or the other one. That's yeah. That, yeah. yeah. If you tried the other ones. It'd be interesting to see. And honestly, if you are in Europe, hit us up. I'm serious. DM us on Instagram, because I'd be interested to try them. So yeah, so far, these are some of the better ready-to-drink cocktails that I've had. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I think as far as ready-to-drink cocktails go, these are the best I've tried. Now, are we foreshadowing that we're going to be doing more ready-to-drink cocktails later this year? Maybe. Who knows? Hit that follow button to find <laughs> out. Subscribe, comment, <laughs> link, oh, wait, share. This it's fine. <laughs> they know what you meant. Hit that red button right below there. Let us know what you think. What are some of the ready to drink cocktails that you like that you've seen around? I know there's a lot of different ones out there. People have their different favorites. Let us know what you like. And what are your best seasonal allergy cures <laughs> remedies. or remedies? Because I'm <laughs> dying. She's struggling. <laughs> she, you slept maybe 18 out of 24 hours yesterday. Yeah, easily. <laughs> Close to it. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. You know, do all the social things to help our channel grow because we appreciate all the support. Yep. And we like to thank Ghost Love. It's been a minute since we forgot to thank you, but thank you for subscribing to our uh, happy hour yes. program. Uh, hit the join button if you want to find out some perks. Again, supporting our channel and to try more random things like this. Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers. Dink.